me, Cousin Todd with Mama's Comedy Show. And with me is Cousin Ed. Hello, Wilbur. Oh, oh sorry. No, that's Mr. Ed. That's Mr. Ed, you, you silly Nancy. I am a Nancy. Uh, how you doing? I'm Nanciful. And you? Uh, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, just to explain the process of how the show works, uh, one, I'm leaning on a table that's wobbling uh, you almost lost crazy your mic. Ways, you almost lost way. your mic. It almost avalanched on you. Um, but right before I, I hit uh, go on the podcast maker, the the podcast machine, the podcastomatic, it, but it's castomatic is the actual <laughs> name. Oh, I had the off brand one. Yeah, um, <laughs> you could buy in Walmart. I said to Ed, "Hey, uh, what do you want to talk about?" And you said. Well, I went to therapy, so I thought. Uh, like, yeah, that's good whether, enough. Let's go record. Not therapy is good or not, and is it good or is it bad? Or does it help, or are you basically just paying somebody to listen to you gripe and complain? Uh, yeah, well, the, that's what Beth says. Beth says you're just listening to. Hey, switch over to that mic. I don't. I, I don't trust this one that you're on right now. Not with the secrets you're about to tell us. Um, oh, that's good. People enjoy hearing that. How do I sound? Does it sound any different? You sound a lot sexier. Okay. Um, we'll put James when she shows up on the shitty mic, but don't say anything. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. So people listening to that podcast will not be able to hear her, but they'll hear our reactions to her. And that's the fun for you at home or driving in your car. What's James saying? Uh, so, Ed, you went to therapy. I do. I, I go to therapy. I've gone to therapy for 14 years. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so let me ask you this. Mm. If you had a knot in your I only back. only go once a, once a month. Right. If you had a knot in your back. Yeah. And you, and you went to see a, a massage therapist for 14 years and you still had that knot in your back. Yes. I, I think that that would be rather suspicious. <laughs> Do you think your therapist is contributing to the problem? I have new knots all the time. Oh. Because I meet new people all the time. Yeah. And they give yeah. you knots? Oh, yes. Like who? What's what's? You don't have to get specific, but like uh, what's a the specific school year? During the school year, a lot of times I'll be talking about stresses in the classroom. I'll be talking right. about getting through a day, yada yada yada, all the type of stuff. Uh, talk about my kids a lot. Talk about career. Talk about relationships. So what you're saying is like, like relationships stress you out, like, right? Like romantic relationships. Yeah, romantic. Yeah. They stress you out, or lack thereof. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah uh, your kids stress you out. Yeah, you know, uh, you want them out of your life. Uh, they, um, says you, okay. <laughs> I'm just, Hey, I'm just reading what I'm the book that has been opened before me. No, what is it? Dianetics. What is that? <laughs> Listen, L. Ron Hubbard is a genius. He's going to save the world. <laughs> just ask Tom Cruise. Um, uh, and his know, middle tooth. Like I, I have had therapy in the past. Like when I was a child. Because they were like, why are you burning all these dolls? And I was like, eh, <laughs> no, that's not what uh, But well, You're right. There are all sorts of therapy. At first, you're like, if you went to a massage therapist, and isn't that kind of what psychotherapy is? It's that massaging of the consciousness or right. what of your thought process. Same way you go to a massage therapist for that, or you go to, you know, uh, I went to reading therapy as a kid because I'm dyslexic. You know? It's, and, it's pronounced Lictexas. <laughs> Lictexas? Yes. You know what they say when life gives you melons, you might be dyslexic. <laughs> uh, uh, well, here and here's my thought. Like you, had, you had posed the the question of this table's really wobbly. You posed the question. I didn't pose that question. Of of um, is therapy helpful or is it is just paying for someone to listen to you gripe? Right, and I think both of those answers are correct. I think I think both of them are right. I think one. Are your there religions that like don't believe in psychotherapy. I know yes. Scientology. No, doesn't. there there are there are religions that don't do it. Yeah. Um. Uh. My my uh my wife's parents don't go for it at all. They're um, Satanists, right? Yes, they yeah, they yeah. practice Satanism, and yeah. um. But you know what the thing is about Satanists? Yeah. They're never trying to push their religion down your throat. They're never knocking on your door, asking no. if you've accepted Satan. No. They're just content. <laughs> They're content in the pentagram with a lock of your hair, <laughs> a picture from from a treasured moment in your life, yeah. and a, a constantly burning candle. Yeah. You know what? More power to them. Batmafet is pleased. <laughs> Batmafet, how do you pronounce it? Uh, the goat? Uh, Baffled. Baffled. Yeah. So there's wait. We, you can't say it one more time. Don't say it one more time. <laughs> We're not in front of a mirror. Oh, okay. Oh, there's shit. There's a mirror right there. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, there's, uh, he's known as the Morning Star. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Satan. Which is why Lucifer Morningstar in the show right. Lucifer. Which was, did you watch the show? Oh, my, yeah, you did. My that's friend was on it. That's right. My, yeah. Very satisfying ending to that show. I only got up to season four. Well, just know that it's satisfying when, you're, when you're done. Um, but I, I think going back to the idea of therapy, your therapist is never going to, or at least they're not supposed to tell you what to do. They're supposed to present options of these are your choices. It just seems like a lot of times when I've been going to therapy recently, since like new stuff has come up, I've been doing a lot of talking and just basically looking at a face on, because it's all telehealth. Right. You know, yeah. it's all you're on the screen on the phone and just watching this face kind of nodding their head. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, what am I doing here? I could just say this to myself. Right. But then every now and then she does say something insightful. So it's not like. Yeah. I, I, and I do feel like, I mean, we've had conversations with we each have. other. We've spoken to each other before. Yeah. yeah the, <laughs> this is not our first meeting. <laughs> um, no, but we've had conversations about uh, like our lives and what's going on and what's yeah. frustrating or making yeah. us sad or upset. Um, I mean, that's therapy to me. Like that to me, talking to my friends, the difference is you guys will actually say stuff like, dude, get the fuck out of that relationship. Yeah. And, you know, where the therapist might say, do you think this is a good idea for you? Well, you were there a lot more for me than like my therapist was during the divorce. And well, that. we were dating. I, I, oh, well, but now mm. dating seems to be so far in the rearview mirror. But is that something that's important? I don't think so. Well, then, yeah, then, then don't let cares? the stress of that bother you. You right. can jerk off in no time. I could what? Jerk off. Rub one out. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Uh, shoot and putty at the moon. Uh, beat the bishop. Oh, okay. Flog the dolphin. Oh, uh, now, now I see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's, listen, my friend Brad Shaking and I... Shaking hands with <laughs> Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> um, my friend Brad and I used to talk about we should just start our own religion. And the idea uh, of the religion was uh, there are no women in heaven. Like, it's just dudes playing games, playing football, watching sports. Sounds fairly homosexual. <laughs> right. But that was the that was the idea. There is no sex drive in heaven. Just fucking do what you want. I mean, not fuck and do what you want. Just do what you want. Well, what if what you want to do is each other? Well, you know, that is someone's heaven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, that was actually how we came up with uh, dutyanity. Oh, yeah. back, back when we did duty humor. So uh, for those of you who have never heard us talk about duty entity, uh, I was part of a sketch comedy troupe. Uh, we mentioned it on the last episode. This was mm -hmm. years ago. But one of the things that I thought would be funny was to create our own religion called duty entity. And in order to be in instead, of, instead of the Pope, do you have the poop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a hey. bitch. Um, but the, uh, if you, whether you wanted to be in the religion or not, if anyone who was in the religion just slapped you on top of the head and said you're in, you're in. And if you're like, no, I don't want to be, it's too late. In our religion's eyes, you're one of us. Um, you're and, a dutyanist. And that then would be a dutist. A, no, no, dudist is already dude. The church of dude. I'm, I'm a dude. This priest. was before that shitty movie. I'm a dudist priest. Um, but the uh, the other thing was our religion, like our Bible, are are the core of our belief. All right, let's see if you can find a fault in this. Okay, okay you be a traditional religious person who's confronting me about dutyanity. Hello, I'm a traditional religious person, and I would like to know more about dutyanity. Listen, it's a very simple religion. We believe that Patrick Swayze went back in time and masturbated into the primordial ooze that we all came from. So we are all just products of Patrick Swayze. Yeah. And, and now you may say, well... Who's Patrick Swayze a product okay, of? Okay, listen, our Bible has one hole in it. <laughs> right? Yours is full of them. Your Bible sounds like a pamphlet. Hello, James. It's Cousin James. Cue the applause. Cue the applause. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, that was a button that we just played applause for you. <laughs> no, our show starts at 8, so we have to open our doors at 7.30. But this is your first podcast. Oh, no, you've been back. No, not on the podcast. Well, now you're here. 
Hold on. James, talk into that mic. I have lipstick on. I don't want to get on there. Oh, you're right. Okay, don't be heard then. Get it on there. Jesus Christ. We're going to have a rainbow party. Isn't that what that's called? No, no. Yeah, did you know that that never existed until the news started reporting on it? A rainbow party? She yeah. I don't think she knows what it is. No, okay, so me. there was a news report that said teens were having rainbow parties where girls would put on different colors of lipstick and see how far they could go onto a boy's ding dong and make a rainbow. Count? What? Does his kidneys count? No, his kidneys don't count. It has to. On the. Okay, we're talking about a high school child here, James. I, got, I started saying in high school. Yeah. That was James in high school. I'm dialing 9 1 on my phone right now. And, and then I'll give you the signal. <laughs> my son actually listens to these podcasts. I'm sorry, he's so proud right now. Yeah. Yep. Um, no, but they, that was a rumor that the news was reporting on, and kids were like, that's a fucking great idea. Oh, no. And I was like, why didn't the news Damn, put out Tucker shit like Carlson. that when I was in high school? I saw you were envious. Yeah, we, we no, had the I satanic don't... panic. Yeah, oh, God, we were just talking old. about Satanism. We yeah. can't get away from it tonight. Uh, like, we were talking about uh, therapy, James. What does your therapist <laughs> think? Um, yeah. Do you think it's just paying somebody to listen to you, bitch, or is it actually helpful? Or what? I think it's both. Um, I think it's an objective As we've person come to the that doesn't of. have any preconceived notions about who you are or what your past is. So that can help um, in addition to somebody who can give you coping skills. Yeah. Like a coping saw? Here. Here's some coping skills. Oh, thanks. Wait a minute. This no. bag is empty. <laughs> Your promises are nothing but lies. Just like you, I'm my in a hot air balloon. I'm, a, I'm in a hot air balloon flying you back. Didn't hear what, you didn't hear what I said. No, what'd, what'd you, you say? say? I said, just like my ex boyfriend. Oh, today's his birthday. Fuck him. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I mean, if you think it'd be a gift he'd like, okay. I, yeah, I guess. I mean, if you I'm want a, us to. I'm a little bitter. Shane today. said she wanted us to fuck <laughs> you for <laughs> your <laughs> birthday. Yeah. He's putting up quite yeah. a fight. <laughs> it's not a real fight, though. It's just stage fighting. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so upset. Um, I was actually um, talking about doing a, uh, the dating thing we did last time I was single. <laughs> the dating game? It, it comes around. Well, every... we're going to do it for Ed, too. Well, I was thinking about doing the, the Bumble thing like we did before. Oh. Having you guys create that? the profile. Where we... I Because I abhor online dating. Yeah. But... We did a podcast where it was me, James, and Cody... Yeah. And uh, Cody was telling me about this Coffee Meets Bagel dating yeah. app. And so because I didn't care about that app. Is that how you met? Yeah. Yes. So because yeah. I didn't care about the but app, I let them from me. fill it out. It. So James and Cody filled out the app. So it was like, what are your hobbies? And it was like disappointing my father. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the so girl you know I'm looking for must have socks. <laughs> <laughs> so you know who somebody who read it had a sense of humor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, it worked. Or she wanted somebody with socks. She is Canadian. So. It worked, damn the you. socks are like currency up there, right? Socks. <laughs> like, you got to say they're socks. I could pay for this with two woolies. You got two woolies, do you? Speaking, I got a of, um, and a oh my God. speaking of angry about exes and stuff, Renette and my wife, Renette um, mm. had a dream the other night. About one of you, you and About one of my exes. Oh. But, but listen to this. I just thought this was funny. Uh, I was apparently rich in this dream, and I had a, uh, a lazy river floating around my, my mansion. You had a moat. No, it was a lazy river, but like you'd get in a raft and float around. So everyone was floating around, and she found out that my ex and I were back together, and then she pooped in my pool. <laughs> yeah. So this is a regular Tuesday. And she was worried that we would find out that it was her that pooped in my oh, pool. Oh, she amber turded. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she actually pooped in the pool. And then she woke up and had to poop real bad, so she ran in the bathroom. It's like the scene Can, from I didn't, Caddyshack. I didn't think Canadians <laughs> pooped. Uh, it's mostly maple it just, syrup. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah okay. mostly maple syrup. You gotta tap it. I gotta, I gotta put a little uh, spike in there and then poop tap just that ass. Pour, <laughs> pours out. Okay, so yeah, who wants to date me? <laughs> so are you currently in therapy or no? Um, Ed, look at her. Of course not. No. She's in shambles. No, I have no insurance. Oh, uh, you don't. You know what? There's a lot of uh, non-insurance options. Yeah, that cost money that I don't have. Um, well, that means you know, there's always Todd. He can yeah, but I have this. a lot of friends. Oh, let I me, have a lot of friends from broken, you know, hold relationships. On. Let me just I stop this on. recording real quick. Boop. Click. Okay, James, it's just us now. Hi, what's Todd. Uh, what's going on? Oh Why can't I hear anything? Oh, look, what's it's, all it's, those cones it's, of silence? It's the nice guy, Todd. It's the, you know, non, yeah. non show Todd. Yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the problem is, I've lived here my whole life, and everybody I know, as examples in front of me, I've known for 20 plus years, and I'm never meeting new people. And I keep finding the same fucking Have you tried person? church? <laughs> because I know a man who mm. 
is well hung. Jesus. <laughs> he lives in my heart. Not from uh, not that part, but uh, <laughs> remind me of oh, coming to America. If you want to find an S girl? You got to go to church. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, actually, I've I've you know I was gr- I grew up in the church, so I already know what that batshit craziness is about. Ah. Um. So yeah, so it's like meeting new people Hello, is impossible. Hi, Hal. Nice shirt. Um. But it's you know in the ter- the town that we're in, it's big enough to be able to meet new people, but it's small enough that I know a lot of people already. And a lot of people who we meet who are quote unquote new are not new really because they know about, you know, 30 or 40 different people that we And I'll tell you, that was one of the things when Renette and I first matched, Mm -hmm. I saw that we had like 167 Mm -hmm. mutual friends. Exactly, especially after this last relationship I had. I I, I initially said, there's no way I'm meeting this girl. But I told you. You and Ali both. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and also I didn't know her. The other side of that too <laughs> should listen to you is because of all the the public things we do as far as being on stage and doing shows and and the different realms of that. You, you have have been in front of thousands and thousands of people who think they know you, yeah. But they only know that facet of you that you've you know put on stage. They don't know the real you. So it's that Marlene Dietrich syndrome. Do you know what that is? I want to be alone. No, they said that they went to bed with Greta and they woke up with her. You know what I mean? They they go to bed with the person they think she is. Yeah. But you wake up with the real person. That's why I sneak they, out in the middle of the <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was still with the person I banged. Yeah. High five, Ed. High five. No matter what people think your personality is from seeing you on stage, you're that's not ever going to be the real you. Right. And yeah, so that's that's difficult as well. I think we see the real Todd on the mama stage. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I think actually yeah, that's he, where he finally gets to be the real him. He beats yeah. the shit out of us. With yeah. Cool yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really him. Yeah. The rest of his days he has to like spend, you know, professionally and whatnot. God, so, it sucks uh, the rest of the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he saves it all up for us. But that's the frustration is, um, you know, now it's uh, the two failed marriages. God, I sound like a winner. Two failed relationships after that. And now it's put me at mid 40. Right. Like, now what? You know, well, like I mean, starting over all over again. But but you're not starting over. You're not starting over. No, from I mean, I've beginning. learned a lot from those, and that's you know, those are the lessons I'm going to take <clears throat> into hopefully an, an, a healthy relationship moving forward. Right. But for fuck's sake, the people I'm meeting are going to be the ones bringing their baggage in too. You know. Well, but you but you have to think also that there are other people who are out there in the same situation as you. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to deal with them. No, no, no. <laughs> but I'm saying people without that same emotional baggage, yeah. people who are looking for a healthy relationship, they are out there. But one person's healthy is another person's, you know, detriment. So you find just, a Canadian. Right. I actually I thought we I found, may have to flee the country. I thought I found a German, but you know he took off to another city. So, um, yeah, I, I think. Um, What's going on over there? You got a picture um, of a dildo. I will, I will show you. Um, Ali Flores just sent oh. you a has just sent me a picture of a a phallus. He, Ali sent you a dick pic? Yes. No, it is a, a sculpture. Well, of one. talk talk into the microphone. We'll say it's a sculpture of one. We'll leave it at that. Okay. It's like a um, bong. It it does kind of. Ed, let me see that dick pic. Yeah, it does kind of, mm. but it's more of a sculpture, I would say. It's like a. And I'm and I'm being asked if I want it, and I'm saying no. No, it's like <laughs> it, it like looks like it got detached from the owner, and it's slowly dying. Tell him, tell him that there's no way he can sneak that through his luggage. That he's gonna have to keister it. He's gonna have to anally pass it through customs. That's a good idea. <laughs> But no, you don't need <laughs> customs in Georgia. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, Florida's a whole different country now. Didn't you know? Yeah, but Georgia's, <laughs> Georgia's pretty close. Uh, you know what? Speaking, speaking of... Um, Hold on. You uh, want to get that through customs, you're going to have to keister it. Yeah. I want to see your, your voice to text. Tell him to send a video of, of him spitting on it before he... I don't want to see it going in. I want to see his face, though. I want to see it coming out. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you saying? Um... I said, speaking of how we were talking briefly mm. about uh, Florida, Georgia being similar. Um, it's a good band. I've had some, like, people, like, comment positive things about mamas in general and about the podcast that right now the world is so politically divided. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, occasionally we'll make I jokes and stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Ed, you oh, and your you kind the language. Are, oh, that's wow, right. I, Mister. For, I forgot James hates that. Uh, but that uh, that that we really keep that out of the show. 
I we mean, do. Yeah. we do make like light every now and again. Yeah. Every now and then we'll make light about, you know, especially the, after the Roe v. Wade. I, I did a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, fun. I've done it too, where I say, listen, you know, you, James, as a woman, you Get need to, yeah. no, you need at least two white men to decide what happens to you. And, That's true. <clears throat> and I think we're, I think we're good with that. No, but I feel, I feel pretty good about the fact that, you know, we, I think we're a good escape. Yeah, and I think that's the important thing is that yeah. we are we are an escape. I yeah. think, true, you'd be a fine woman in our new society. <laughs> <laughs> and I, what would you call that color of your hair? Would you call it off red? Oh Lord, no! I would call it uh, crimson danger. Oh. Yeah, that's making uh, a Handmaid's Tale handmaid's reference. Tale oh, yeah. Handmaid's Tale. I wouldn't the, be able to color my red. hair anymore if no, it was wouldn't. Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, nobody would see your hair. You'd yeah, just be true. wearing that bonnet. Well, no, they don't wear it all the time. They only wear when they're That's going to well, be a hot Halloween costume this year. I guarantee it, you. It has oh, been for a while. Yeah. And it just, it bothers me that people are using that as a reference because it's not. But it's pretty apt. Mm. I mean, it is. It's mm. pretty, it's pretty apt. Yeah, it's a crazy world we're living in. Kind of a little Handmaid's Tale, a little vote. bit of the boys. Vote. A Get little bit of vote. a, a little bit of a um, Red Dawn, the original, not the, the remake. Original. Speaking of Red with, Dawn. With Patrick Swayze. We've come full circle. Oh, I he came him. full circle. That's hey. <laughs> Well, there you go. Um, James? Yes. Uh, uh, what back were you to, saying? Back to dating? What? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, you're th so we need want, to get you I and Ed together. I somebody nice to take me out and treat me like a lovely lady. Is that so horrible? That's all I want. <laughs> Ed, we can definitely See, find that for you. that's the problem. I'm competing with people like fucking Ed over here. I wonder that's if my we... nickname. <laughs> fucking Ed. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not more popular. Yeah, yeah it's his cousin special. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I wonder if we could do like a dating, a dual dating game. I'm wondering if we could actually get what, dates. So one of us will win the date with the person, and one of us will go home with nothing. No, no, <laughs> like no. We win the human. We would do. I think we would do, no, we would do like, like two two sets on the stage. Yeah, yeah. we'd have yeah, like yeah. three. Like you and I in the center, and then all partitions, of, yeah. and then the yeah. bachelor. All of the girls would be on the same side with James, yeah. and all of the guys would be on the same side with you. So you would get to ask a question for the girls. Yeah. And then the date that we do on stage afterwards would be a double date. You and oh, James we'd and your. A, we'd have to do a. A date here? Yeah, because you're yeah, not going to get murdered. On, it happens on stage. Ew. But we'll be. What really suck is if James and I we both pick somebody, and then the people we pick actually get them together. Not. That would be the fucking meet cute for a rom a rom com. That would uh, that my ex said that I wanted to live in. You so. know, it'd be that great. Could actually, happen. I think tonight at the stroke of midnight, the two of you need to pee in the exact same fountain. Ooh. And, and I'll we'll switch bodies we'll like I'm freaking Friday. Yes. I would love to have a penis for a day. How and much then, fun would that be? Ed, you can. I would do so many things to it. It, you know, Especially it, it, if it was Ed's penis. Hey. I'd put it through a masher and shit. Hey. Jesus, you, you're going to have to jump back into that body. Your dick's all mutilated. And you can <laughs> have some really interesting various size boobs. There you go. <laughs> I win. Your voice went up so high. That was the best. That would actually be okay. So let's say that that's a possibility. Let's mm -hmm. say that the Freaky Friday could happen. You could swap by. You could swap bodies with anybody. Oh, anybody? Mm. Mm, anybody. Who would you swap bodies with? It's twenty four hours. Mm. Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. You can swap bodies with them, and anything you do to their body is real. Uh, but then also anything you do in society is real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, but I, I wouldn't want to be a woman. I wouldn't be want to be all that creepy and whatnot. I'd want to be a better built man so mm -hmm. that I can go attract women for 24 hours that I want to have nothing to do with other than 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> Talk about sex. Baby. I just mm. saw them in concert. Um, I don't know. Because I, I, I think the, the, the draw of being a man would be really cool to have that experience p standing up hold it hold it in your hand write my name in the snow all that shit actually have full rights of my body yeah that'd be great um but then <laughs> oh, oh, here we go spin. again <laughs> here we go always wanting rights for your body oh yeah, gotta, my god call her. Go ahead, oh, call her. oh oh but wait a minute wait a minute if you if you killed yourself that would be permanent for the person you sw swapped with right yeah but you would but also they would be stuck forever in your body oh yeah. man that would be really cool to do it for somebody who voted against women's rights and have them be stuck in my body forever. Yeah, but then you don't them. get to enjoy that. I know. But that would be like my last act of service She's for the U.S. She's a martyr for the cause. Yes. Yeah, yeah I would want to see it, And I would do it, it wearing a Handmaid's Tale robe. That yeah. actually, that always bothers me in a movie when the villain dies, but he never really gets to see the reper repercussions. But the or... repercussions would be that person would be stuck in a woman's body from then on and not be able to have yeah, their Yeah, but own you don't rights. get to enjoy that. But the rest of, like, karma would be... R you know, righted. Karma's not real. Karma's real. She's a stripper no. on OBT. <laughs> 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 
Um, My name is Karma. So, you Ed, you would, her well. <laughs> you would swap with a better built man. Yeah, I don't think it's like one particular person. It's not like, hey, Brad Pitt, who's getting a little long right. in the tooth right now. You know, right. I'm talking about right. like Chris just, Hemsworth. It doesn't even have to be somebody famous. Just but somebody, somebody famous who, would in, give in a be really more good, likely. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have to live being famous for 24 hours, which I imagine is a pain in the butt. Yeah, not, not if, if it's only for 24 as hours. As you can and do huh? them. Not as if you're trying to get as many women as you right, can then, and do them. Then Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So yeah. Ed, you'll you'll jump into Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. James. Yeah, I'd I don't be know. Popular. I'm trying to think of well, like I said, I, I the whole political scenario would be yeah. really cool. Um, but as far as like if I was doing a, like for the same idea of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of a celebrity with a better body and yada yada yada, Some Sofia Vergara. She's hot, but that uh, no, that yeah. voice would annoy the fuck out of me if that was coming out of my mouth. My mouth. Yeah, but we can talk like ourselves, right? Yeah, not a lot comes out of James's mouth. Actually, I don't <laughs> no, think I want to talk in. like that. Me talking would just ruin the whole Chris Hemsworth <laughs> look. Um, like, I I would I would say somebody like uh, any of the girls in the Marvel universe right now look really good in spandex. You know, something along those lines. That'd be mm -hmm. cool. Agreed. Um, what's the name? She's in the Marvel universe and the Star Wars universe now. What oh, is? Oh, um, uh, uh, Margot Robbie. No, no, no. The other one who was Padme. That one. Oh, um, uh, uh, Natalie Portman. Yes, Natalie Portman. Oh, because she can rap too. She's in the Star Wars universe. That's yeah, that's what I said. I yeah. got, I got DC in my head. Yeah, you know Margot about, Robbie is too. Yeah. Yeah, you know Ooh, about Margot Robbie and Emma Frost, right? Yeah. That's no the rumor. Yeah, she's they're gonna... making a new uh, X Men. She's going to be Emma Frost. Oh, I'd be so down with she's that. She's going to be in both Harley DC Planet universe DC. and Marvel. But I just thought it was really cool for Natalie Portman to have, you know, the Star Wars legacy with her, and now she's doing the Marvel thing too. So it's like, two. Would you be DC Universe or Marvel Universe? Marvel, definitely. Oh, no, I, I'm still... I enjoy... I love all of the Marvel movies. We just finished Miss Marvel. I really loved it. I have to finish it. I'm um, talking about if you were an actor in one of the films, would you rather do a Marvel, Marvel film? For or sure. Well, yeah, I guess Marvel's got the, the yeah. more heat on it right My now. My daughter's yeah, obsessed with DC, though. Yeah, but you get to talk a lot more though. if you were in a DC movie. <laughs> but but it would be so talking. dark you wouldn't be able to see them. All this is talking. But it, well, the, port, the thing that sucks is the Flash movie is never going to come out. Oh, yeah. Guy, e Ezra Miller just, what a dickhead. Ezra Miller, fuck you. Oh, you can be in his body, Todd. Yeah, no, I don't want to be in his yeah, body. Yeah, you can be in his body and get his, get his hey, ass kicked. Hey, there's the guy that was grooming those children. And get, get him. And get his ass kicked. There yeah. was somebody. Yeah, but I still, that's about. me getting my ass kicked. Well, I mean, you deserve it either way. No, he's just jumping into the body after the beating. Uh -huh. I just read about somebody they were talking about replacing him now. Army Hammer, because apparently he's selling timeshares on the Cayman Islands. Well, no, I. they should get the kid from the TV show and just reshoot his scenes or do whatever I mean, there's Marvel CGI magic shit. that they do, do yeah. where they put yeah. other people's faces. So, that sucks for you because you've always been a big Flash guy, right? Yeah, yeah he's my so favorite. My friend Belly who passed. He's, yeah. my, he's my favorite, he's Billy. My favorite one. Yeah, and I, I will say this. I was never a fan of him cast as the Flash, but I'm always one of those people. Like when they said Heath Ledger as the Joker, Ugh, I was like, I don't see it, but let me see what he can do. And I, I loved it. Yeah, but comparing the talents of Heath Ledger with Ezra Miller. Hmm. No, well, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I, then I would say um, uh, 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 Robert Pattinson. When he was cast as Batman, I was no. like, oh, I don't know. I, I loved him. He was great. I, I, loved I him liked Batman. his Batman. I did not like his Bruce Wayne. It annoyed the piss out of me. I, I mean, I it was a year one thing. I'm fine with it. He yeah. was because he was so goth and emotional. Zoe, but that's a, Zoe that was seen my it 15 times. So that was my She's problem a with Batman um, birthday. With the original Michael Keaton Batman. Oh, I is love he was, Michael Keaton. He was never Bruce Wayne to me. Bruce Wayne, the, the only person who's nailed both was uh, Christian Bale, mm, where he did Val the thing Kilmer. where he, where he, no, Val Kilmer was just Val Kilmer but every time. He's there was Val no, Kilmer, it doesn't matter. I don't care. There was no separation. But when, when <laughs> Christian Bale went into the restaurant with the two uh, hot chicks yeah. and got in the fountain and said, don't That's worry, I'm buying be, this place. You could be Christian Bale. You want to be yeah, Christian Bale? I guess. I mean, yeah, actually, I think he's any, hotter than Chris Hemsworth. Could we do this at any time? And like, no, no, no. Period? It's got That'd you. Be really listen, cool. no, now. time hop. Yeah. You're going to create a. I want a time hop and body hop. No, you're going to create a paradox ah, and kill us all. all. <laughs> I have a damn woman. This is why men need to make the decisions <laughs> yeah, for you. The Batman thing reminded me of a joke, though. There I go okay. with ideas. So this guy comes up to another guy and goes, "Hey, I do a really good impersonation of Batman. You want to hear it?" The other guy goes, "Yeah, sure. Go ahead." He goes, "Oh no." Kryptonite! Oh no, Kryptonite! He goes, well, that's Superman. He goes, thanks, I've been working <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Here's a here's a joke. Uh, why are we doing jokes on the podcast? Okay. Save it for uh, the show. Because this is one that I don't think I would I would tell I during the pre-show. I do that for my daughter's birthday. What uh, this guy comes up to his wife and says, "Hey, you want to get a little freaky tonight?" She's like, "Oh, what do you have in mind?" He goes, "Do you want to play rape?" She goes, oh, no. Yeah. And he goes, that's the spirit. 
<laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's awful. You can't say that's awful after you laughed, Ed. I laugh at awful things all the time. (laughs) How long have I known you? How long have I been laughing? Uh, I don't know. Who would I body swap with, you ask? Oh, yeah. Who would you body swap with? Yeah, Todd, let's ask your opinion. Uh, Vladimir Putin. To ride shirtless on a horse? No. I would fucking, I would fuck up his life. fuck the horses. I would, oh, I would I fuck up his see, life. That's, that was the point I was making. Yeah. Yeah, but but here's the thing: I wouldn't have him I was just killed. About sex, <laughs> <laughs> so, Who can I be the hottest? So what's on your mind, Ed? <clears throat> I guess I've been alone for a while. No, really? let me see yeah. your hands. Why is that one so much redder than the other one? <laughs> Strong like bull. <laughs> Strong like bull. Uh, all right, we should we should probably wrap this oh, up. Oh, it's been okay. yeah, it's it's been thirty minutes. Do we we got to open our doors in eight. We have a finale. Uh, well, we should talk about what we learned tonight. Uh, so, James. Todd. What have you learned tonight? A couple things, actually. I learned the podcast does not start at 7. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we have a full conversation of non sequiturs. No, uh, you're just learning that? That's been the podcast for 157 episodes now? Oh, is that why it's called non sequiturs? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I just like that word. It sounds fun. Ed, what did you learn tonight? I learned that whether you go to a professional or whether you're just talking to friends, therapy probably is just a rambling mess of words. Because mm-hmm. that's what we had tonight. But it helps. But it was a beautiful rambling mess of words. I really loved it. Do you remember my idea for the bar? I wanted to open a bar and call it therapy. Yeah. And uh, all of the bartenders would be called therapists. So that way you don't have to feel bad when people are like, hey, where are you going? You're like, I'm going to therapy. I'm like, oh, that's very brave. Yeah, and there's also a there's a bar in Orlando called The Office. Same idea. Oh, um, fun. Yeah, people go, where are you going? I'm going to The Office. And there you go. But would you spell it therapy or would you put a, da- a dash or a space in there? The rapey? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, Todd. Uh, and I learned something tonight, too. What'd you learn, Todd? I learned that while you and I would sacrifice our bodies mm-hmm. for the betterment of the world. That's right. Ed just wants to fuck chicks in Chris Hemsworth's <laughs> body. <laughs> True. All right, we're Mama's Comedy Show. We're here every Friday night at 8 p.m. We're sold out tonight. Huzzah! Uh, so that means that it's we get paid? not that dumb. Yeah, what? That means we get paid? Yeah. Oh. Uh, call 407-363-1985 to make a reservation. Money, not in kisses this time. Oh, damn it. Oh, kisses on what parts? Oh. Never mind, I'll give you cash. Uh, <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, James, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me online with my burlesque group, Corsets and Cuties. Dot com. We have our eight year anniversary coming up on 828 at the Abbey in downtown Orlando. Doors open at eight. And if you want tickets for that, you can go to eventbrite.com. And then we have our amateur show in September. So if you ever wanted to try being a burlesque performer, we'll be calling for contestants on August 1st. And that show will be September 11th in Tampa. I'm sorry, Tampa. <laughs> in Stanford at Theater Weston. Dot com. Oh. No. Uh, and you can find me on Instagram and uh, uh, TikToks uh, at Totters. T-O-D-D-E-R-S. Also, buy my books on Amazon. They're doing pretty well right now. They're pretty uh, good. Just search uh, T-O-D-D-F-E-R-E-N and uh, yeah, pick whichever one suits you. Ed, where can people find you? Well, you have to wait for the Lowell Thomas Center to develop cloning technology. They have some Petri dishes of some passenger pigeons. Once they develop the technology, they're going to be developing passenger pigeons. All of these passenger pigeons will be trained and home to go directly to me. You find a passenger pigeon and you have a message for me, just simply tape it to its leg. It's home directly to my house. Or the next time you see a Chris Holmes or something, you just wonder. Yeah. Is, is that, that Ed? Is it me? All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.